The Anand Karaj, which means blissful union, is the name of the Sikh wedding ceremony. The foundation of the Anand Karaj was introduced by Guru Ramdas with the composition of the Lava, a set of four hymns that describe the spiritual stages of married life. In this video, I'll talk you through what happens during a typical wedding day for Sikh couples. The day begins with the groom tying a turban and putting on a sharwani. The groom sits next to his sarballa. The groom's sisters place the palla onto the groom and the groom's mother places a coconut in the palla. The groom's babis add surma to the groom's eyes. The groom's sisters place a kalvi on the turban and optionally a sera. The groom's parents and siblings give shagan, a blessing usually in the form of money, followed by laddu, a traditional Indian sweet. As the groom leaves the house, his mother pours mustard oil onto the doorstep. The groom leaves for a gurdwara near the bride's house. Traditionally, the groom would ride a horse to the gurdwara. However, it is more common to see door players accompany the groom. Once inside the gurdwara, a priest recites a specific prayer called the Ardas. This prayer is said before and after significant religious occasions. During the milni, the bride and groom's male family members meet each other. They shake hands, place a garland over each other, and sometimes the bride's side offer gifts. Occasionally, they will wrestle and try to lift each other up in a friendly competition. The bride's side offer the groom's side Indian sweets. Both sides head to the langar hall in the gurdwara for breakfast. This consists of savoury spiced pastries and sweets. The groom enters the darbar, bows and touches his forehead on the ground in front of the Shri Guru Granth Sahib. He may offer a ramalla and then return to the male side of the congregation. The groom's sisters remove the kalgi and coconut from the morning. The groom returns to the front, bows his head and sits on the right. The groom's sisters arrange themselves behind him. The bride enters, bows her head and sits to the left of the groom. She may also offer a ramalla. The bride's sisters arrange themselves behind the bride. The bride, groom and both sets of parents stand up while the priest recites the adas for the success of the marriage. By having the parents stand, they are consenting to the marriage. During the palla ceremony, the bride's father approaches the bride and takes the left side of the palla and hands it over to the bride. This signifies the joining of the couple and the transferring of duty and responsibility to the groom. The lava are the centerpiece of the Anand Karaj. The Granthi recites the first of four wedding hymns, which progressively describe the joining of the bride, groom and God. The Gitanis then sing the same hymn as the bride and groom walk around the Shri Guru Granth Sahib clockwise. They will go around four times. The bride is commonly guided by her brothers. The Gitanis sing two or three hymns on the subject of marriage. The congregation donate money to the Gurdwara before standing for the final Ardas. This longer version recounts important figures and events in Sikh history. To conclude the ceremony, the Granthi reads a selected verse from the Shri Guru Granth Sahib. Most ceremonies have a speech by an official representative of the Gurdwara or a member of the congregation. The congregation are then served prashad, a blessed vegetarian pudding. The shagan ceremony begins with the bride's mother placing a coconut in the groom's lap. Both sets of parents place garlands over the bride and groom, feed them laddu and give them money. The congregation also bless the couple with gifts of money. For the dolly ceremony, the bride's sisters assemble a barrier on or near the entrance of the bride's house. The groom arrives with his closest friends and family, where he bargains with the bride's sisters over an entrance fee. Eventually, a deal is reached. A groom is allowed to enter by cutting the barrier and dropping a coin in a glass of water. Mustard oil is poured onto the doorstep by one of the bride's sisters. The groom and his side enter the bride's home and have snacks while the bride prepares to leave the house. The bride comes downstairs and joins the groom, with her given shagan from the bride's parents. The bride's father hands over the balla to the bride again. The bride stands up and throws rice in four directions before the groom leads the bride away through her house. As they leave, mustard oil is poured onto the doorstep and the bride and groom step into the wedding car where the bride says goodbye to her family and friends. The bride's mother's brother throws coins in front of the car just before the brothers send off the car towards the groom's house. For the Pani Parna, the groom's family gives the bride and groom laddu while they are still in the car. Once they reach the front of the groom's house, the groom's mother circles a jug of water around the bride and groom's heads and then tries to drink the water. The groom prevents her from drinking it on all but the last circle. The bride and groom sit on the floor, are given shagan and share a glass of milk, including the day. I well, hope you found this useful. Hit the subscribe button below to be informed when we release videos for other ceremonies in the near future.